What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, and we're going to look at the number functions actions in, in Power Automate. So the number functions or the number format uh, action is a new action inside Power Automate allowing you to format numbers in a specific way. So previously this was slightly more tricky, you had to do some uh, advanced editing and advanced function functions um, and it didn't really work that well. So the Power Automate team have released a new action that allows you to format, uh, format numbers in a variety of ways and that's what we're going to take a look at today. So I'm in Power Automate here, I have a manual trigger flow and I'm going to click on new step. Go to built-in, because this is a built-in function. And we have this option here called number functions. And then the function or the action inside here is format numbers. Click on that and we have three inputs. So we have the number, we have the format, and we have locale. So number and format are required, but locale is not. So I could type any number into here. I could get some dynamic content, but I could type in anything um, like that. Now, in the formats, we have some very common formats. So we have this one, which is just a, um, a, a number format with two decimal places. Uh, we have negative numbers. So we have uh, this, again, with two decimal places. And we also have a, um, a, a currency format, again, to two decimal places. So if I use something like this first one, um, and I just test this flow, what I'll put on the trigger action, what we will have returned back is we'll have the exact same number, but it's going to shorten it and it's going to round it up to two decimal places. So here we go, we've got all the numbers here that we put in and it's it's rounded it to uh, to just two decimal places. So it's as simple as that to kind of do this. And, and previously you could use things like substrings and, you know, to try and find the right numbers and, and replace them and stuff uh, and advance string um you know, actions. But this is nice and simple. It's just like, what is the format that you want? And this just disturbs two, two decimal places. Now, there is also the idea of negative numbers. So you could uh, have a negative number in here, but I'm gonna skip over that because that'll be self-explanatory. And I want to show you the currency formats. So the currency here, this again is just going to format it to two decimal places. But what this does allow you to do is that's where this locale comes into play. The locale allows you to choose a country from this massive list of countries and it'll actually convert it into that um, that locale so it'll take it'll get the correct currency symbol and um, the correct style of how they would write it in that country um, and allows you to put it in there so let's use something that no one um, no one uh, is too familiar with well I suppose people in the country are familiar with um, but yeah let's go to uh, let's go to Mozambique why not uh, I don't know what the currency in Mozambique is probably dollars um, but we'll find out this is my ignorance <laughs> we'll uh, we'll perform the trigger action click run click done formats it uh, ah, MTN is the currency in Mozambique. You learn something new every day. And it looks like they have dots in between their currencies instead of commas. So that's really interesting. And it looks like the comma is actually how they represent the decimal places afterwards. That is a really cool and really interesting way um, to find numbers. And that's how this comes into play. Now, one of the other things that people uh, might want to do is they may want to create a custom number format. So maybe these things aren't always going to work for them, but that's where there is a add custom item. So you, you'll notice this on a lot of actions, uh, a lot of inputs, is that you have the ability to add custom items. It's not something I've specifically covered in videos before, but I'm going to show you what it looks like for this one. So in uh, add custom item, we can change the format for the string in here, uh, and we could put um, we we could use some Excel like formula, or we can also use uh, what's called the .dot net um, string notation as well. So if we talk about um, if we want to just talk about um, the Excel like formula first, we can use hashes to represent numbers. And as if you kind of noticed when I did the previous one, um, what I actually had was a, a hash for a number and then two zeros afterwards. But we can actually add um, like three hashes in there to kind of show um, that we want three um, 
uh, three numbers after the decimal place or four numbers after the decimal place, or we could use the zeros as well. So when I do that, I'm actually going to um, switch this back to being the invariant language. No, I'm not, because it's not going to work. Uh, that's interesting. Um, that must be a bug. So, so we'll try this instead, and we'll see what happens. I might need to add this um, this step again, this action again. Uh, if it's not coming out in the right format, no, it's ignored that variant now, that uh, locale variant, because it's not a currency anymore. Okay. So, um, so yeah, we've got um, one hash to represent any numbers in front of the decimal place, and then we've got four hashes to represent the number of decimal places that we wanted to represent. So in this case, we wanted to represent four. So we've counted one, two, three, four, and there we go. It's nice and simple, nice and easy to create these um, to create these formats. I'll leave a link in the description below on um, these custom number strings that you can use. But as I also mentioned, it does also um, include a, um, a dot a, a string dot net function um, representative, and that's actually kind of representative of what's slight, of what just on what's just underneath these functions and or these uh, these types that we can choose here. So we see n two is actually negative to two decimal places, and we have c three, which is currency to two decimal places. So we can actually use one of those in here as well. So if I change this to um, c uh, c three. That'll do a currency to three decimal places, and then hopefully I can choose a different language again. There we go. So we could choose um, something like uh, Afrikaans, for instance, um, and that will this will format this into a C3 format, so currency to three decimal places using the Afrikaans output. So let's test this again. I don't know what the currency is in Afrikaans uh, either, so let's see. Ah, we have an R at the front of it, so that's interesting. So again, we, we have all these things, and this is represented to three decimal places, so again, in Afrikaans, they must use a comma to represent decimals, uh, and it's got one, two, two. So this allows you to change the formats using the dot .NET um, string notation as well. So again, a really powerful tool to then add in custom formatting and change it to be however you want. So this would be good in case you're getting... Um, you're getting decimal numbers coming in. Um, this will actually um, this will round uh, up or down depending on the number that you've got in. So if I change um, this last number to a eight, for instance, uh, that should up, round up to one, two, three at the end. Uh, and we'll change uh, we'll change it back to UK, uh, United Kingdom, GB. So that's my currency. And we'll see what this does. Click done. Uh, one, two, three. So yeah, so that's rounded up to three decimal places because it's taking that eight and it's rounded that one up to uh, the next number, uh, which is updated that one from two to three. So it'll round up or it'll round down depending on the numbers that you have in and, and basic maths. Um, so yeah, this is really powerful. If you're getting um, details in from other systems, it uses a lot of decimals. You can make sure it's rounding correctly um, to, to put these things in. You can format it into a specific currency. Uh, if you even don't know the currency, you could you know uh, get that information in here and, and then and then filter it and stuff like that. So really, really cool, really, really powerful. I'm really appreciative that the Power Ultimate team have added this functionality in. I think it's brilliant. Um, I am going to be using this a lot from now on. Uh, but what do you guys think? Is this something you knew about? Is this something that's uh, that new to, that's new to you? It only came out a couple of months ago. Um, I've not had a chance to make a video on it yet, but I thought this was great. Uh, let me know what you are going to be using it for down in the comments down below. Uh, if you've liked this video, please like and please share it with your friends. It's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.